Good morning. This morning I'm going to make a coffee dessert. I'm going to make a crumb crust out of this flaxseed meal uh, using the butter. I'm going to put it in that pan and then I'm going to make using my agar agar I'm going to make a coffee gelatin with the milk and uh, then I'm going to make a uh, uh, what's it called? The egg whites, uh, a meringue topping. So we'll get started here. First of all, I'll start with that uh, crumb topping that, uh, excuse me, the crumb crust that goes in the pan. So just a second, I'll be right back. Okay, so here I've got about a half a stick of butter. I thought that butter I had was going to be enough, but it wasn't. So I've got about a half a stick of butter, and I've got about one cup of this flaxseed meal and I'm going to mix it together here and make my crumb crust so just a second when I get that uh, mixed I'll be right back now to this crumb crust I'm going to add because we all know that flaxseed meal is not very sweet so I'm going to add about a tablespoon of artificial sweetener so now y'all this is going to be low carb if not darn near to no carb. So I'm adding a tablespoon of artificial sweetener to this crumb crust. Let me get it mixed up real good. Let me get it mixed up real good and I'll get it in the pan and then we'll take it from there. Okay, I keep breaking up here so let me start all over. I am making a no carb, low carb coffee gelatin dessert. Here in this pan, I have my flaxseed meal mixed with butter to make a crust. And I went ahead and added two tablespoons of artificial sweetener. So let me put this in the refrigerator because this crust, I'm not going to cook this crust. Let me put this in the refrigerator and I'll be right back. Okay, so now on to the gelatin part where I'm going to make the coffee gelatin. So I've got two cups of coffee. This is just regular brewed coffee. And I'm going to add one cup of milk. Now I am using this calorie countdown uh, milk here. Uh, this is, uh, let me get this off the burner. I'm using this calorie countdown. Uh, this has only uh, what is it like three carbs per cup yeah three total carbs per cup so right now all we've got in here is three carbs but I want that to be a little bit stronger so I'm going to add two tablespoons of instant coffee to make this a little stronger. And then I'm going to add one tablespoon of artificial sweetener. Now let's taste this and see if it's to our liking, if it's sweet enough. So let's get this mixed up. Not quite sweet enough. Let me get her something else to get that artificial sweetener because I use that and I don't want to put it back in the sweetener. So okay, hold on. so I went ahead and added two more teaspoons of uh, the artificial sweetener. So let's taste it now. Good and sweet. That's where we want it. So now, let me put all my stuff away here so um, I've got room to work and I'll be right okay. back. Okay. So here is my two cups of coffee and one cup of milk and I sweetened this to my sweetness, what I like. So now I'm going to bring it up to a boil, but first of all I'm going to add my agar agar. So this is a vegan, low carb. Now remember I used that hood milk so that uh, calorie countdown milk. So right now all I've got in here is three carbs and the agar agar has no carbs. So I've got two tablespoons of agar agar here. 
And I'm going to add four tablespoons of water. And I'm going to dissolve that up. And I'm going to add it to this. And let me get that scraped out. Okay, so I got my agar agar in here, and now I'm going to bring this to a boil. And because it is agar agar, it is vegetarian, and because it is agar agar, um, we are going to have to cook it a little bit. So I'm going to bring you back when uh, this starts to boil, because we don't have to cook it a whole lot, but we do have to cook it a little bit because it is agar agar. So just a second, we'll be right back. Okay. I don't know if you can tell, but this mixture has uh, thickened up a little bit. Now, some people with the agar agar, they like to take this foam off. I don't mess with it. Uh, I'm going to turn this off. Now, I want it to uh, cool down just a little bit before I uh, put it in that crust. So... And that'll do some extra cooking with it, too, because, like I said, with agar agar, you do have to cook it a little bit. Um, not a whole lot. Um, if you cook it more than five minutes, you've cooked it too much. And the ratio on agar agar is two tablespoons of agar agar to four tablespoons of water or four tablespoons of liquid dissolve that up, mix that up, and then add that to two cups of whatever liquid you're going to use. So now this low carb dessert that we've got going here, uh, so far we have only the milk carbs in here and that calorie countdown milk, um, that hood calorie countdown milk has only three carbs per cup. So right now we have only three net carbs in here and as you know the um, uh, what do you call it that I use for the crust uh, there's four uh, all the carbs are uh, canceled out by the uh, um, fiber so let's just get this to cool down just a wee bit. It's going to, uh, this doesn't, this agar agar doesn't even need refrigeration to thicken up, uh, to, to set up, excuse me. Where with the gelatin, uh, you need refrigeration to at least get it started. Uh, you can't keep it under heat like you can. Uh, of course, you can't keep agar agar under heat, don't get me wrong. But uh, agar agar will set up even if you don't put it in the refrigerator. Where gelatin, you have to have the coolness to get it to set up. But this agar agar is vegan, vegetarian. Um, now we are going to put, uh, we're going to make some uh, egg whites, whip some egg whites and put that on top. So that means it wouldn't be vegan. But uh, you could use some artificial cream or uh, you could use, and I believe that hood milk is vegetarian. I'm not sure about that. Uh, you'll have to check. But I'm going to call this vegetarian over vegan. Um, but the agar agar is vegan. So... I still want this to cool off a little bit. That butter that's in that um, pan, I don't want that to melt. And see, this is real hot, and it'll melt that butter, and it'll make the crust come right off the bottom of the pan. So we'll be back in just a couple minutes when this cools off just a wee bit. I want to show you all this. I've just had this pan sitting out, not even in the fridge, and look at that. It's already thickening up. It's going to get a lot thicker than that. 
I uh, divided it between these two things here to get it to cool off a little bit more, uh, a little faster. Um, so now let me put this back in there. Get that stirred up some more. And I believe this is cool enough to put in a... Well, I got a mess on my stove here. Look at that. See that agar agar is already um, got some of my crust down there. Okay, let's see if this is cool enough to put in that pan. Mmm, still a little warm. Now you wouldn't have to use the crust if you wouldn't want to, and you can do this in layers. Put coffee on the bottom, put the milk on the top, and uh, just forget about the eggs. It's still a little warm. Let me clean up here uh, uh, real quick. I got quite a bit of mess here, so hold on. Be right back. Okay, y'all. I am going to take the chance that this is cool enough and it won't melt the butter. So, I'm going to pour it in this pan and then real quick, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. So, here we go. So I'll bring you guys back when it gets set up. Okay, it has set up. See, and it's a little, it's a little uh, heavier, a little uh, firmer setup than you would get with like uh, Knox gelatin. But now notice too. See, we didn't uh, bust the bubbles in the top, so they stayed. But that's no problem. What we're going to do now is we're going to make the meringue topping. So just a second, we'll be right back. Okay, I've got my eggs separated. I'm using two eggs, and I'm going to put the artificial sweetener in there. And as you guys know, glass or metal is the best thing to uh, do meringues in. Um, <laughs> I'm using this huge beer mug because I am going to use my, let me put it out here. I'm going to use my Hamilton Beach stick mixer and in a bowl sometimes things can splatter out. So I'm going to get this started and I will, bring, I will bring you back when I get the egg whites whipped. Okay, I whipped my egg whites. As you can see, I did a product review on this Hamilton Beach stick mixer. Um, you really should check that out. That's one of my other videos. So let me get rid of this and put it in the sink. Uh, and we will top our coffee dessert. So I'll be right back. Oh, and hang around. Keep watching. I'm going to make Ernie a onion and bacon pie. So I'm going to use those eggs, those egg yolks in his onion and bacon pie so be looking for that video but right now we're going to clean up a little bit here I'll get my spatula and we'll uh, put that on top of this dessert so be right back okay y'all I couldn't find my spatula so I'm using my canning tool oh well it works so let me get this all nice and pretty on top here Maybe should have used another egg. Yeah. That's not really enough. But I'm only going to use these two eggs. That's all I started with. That's all I'm going to use. So let me make this a little pretty and we'll be back. Okay, I spread that out the best I can. So there's the meringue on top of the dessert. So as you can see, the well, maybe you can't see the layers there. There's that crust on the bottom. Uh, that was the flaxseed meal crust on the bottom made with butter and then we have the coffee and milk dessert in the middle made with the agar agar and now we have the meringue on top now I'm going to set this under the broiler and when I get it 
looking the way I want it to, I'll bring you back. Sorry there's so many cuts, y'all, but I don't have a tripod. I don't have a cameraman. It's just me filming this one-handed, so you get a lot of breaks. So hold on. We'll be back. So here it is out of the broiler. And you guys, it is almost 3 in the morning because I'm a, I'm a weird sleeper. So Ernie's not here to do a taste test. So I'm going to cut a piece and I'll do a taste test. So hold on, you guys. Let me get my knife. Let me get that piece out of there and we'll see how it looks. Okay, y'all. Now you know how the first piece is always the hardest to get out. <laughs> So there it is. That is my coffee dessert. Now, I want to point out that in this square, there is probably, well, I know there's less than one carb. We did the uh, crust with butter. Remember we did that. We used the flaxseed meal. We mixed it with butter the carbs and the uh, fiber cancel it out. We made the coffee dessert. We used one cup of that hood milk. In one cup of hood milk, now there's one cup of hood milk in this whole thing, there's only three carbs. Coffee has no carbs. Then the egg white, we used two egg whites on the whole thing so, and I kind of butchered it when I cut it, didn't I? I butchered that, uh, that meringue. And you know egg whites. Well, there's two egg whites on there. And you divide that between all of this. So we'll just call this. Now, they do say uh, you still count carbs even if there's no carbs because everything has a carb. So we're going to say there's one carb per square. And here, I'm going to turn this over so that you can see the, uh, uh, there's the crust. So now I'm going to taste it. Mmm. This is good. A nice, rich coffee flavor. Uh, the little bit of meringue that's there is sweet from the artificial sweetener. The crust here on the bottom is sweet. Because mm. remember we put the artificial sweetener in the... Uh, and I really don't like using artificial sweetener. But remember I used the artificial sweetener in the... Uh, in the crust and that coffee dessert. Now it's firm. It's a firm because uh, dessert because of the agar agar. But it is really good. And I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. So for you low carbers. Mmm. Good. For you low carbers, here's an idea that you can uh, make you a low carb dessert, get you some sweet if that's what your, your thing is. My thing is not sweet, but if that's your thing. And it's different, uh, easy, uh, it's not fast because uh, you have to let it set up and you have to do the meringue and all that. But it, it's a good thing to try. So I'm going to call this a gelatin coffee dessert with meringue. And I hear it's starting to rain. And it is 3 o'clock in the morning now. So thanks for watching, guys. And do try this. You can put your own little variation on it. Maybe make some chocolate coffee or make a coffee mocha. or Well, that's chocolate coffee. Make a coffee mocha. Make a, Put more milk in it. Whatever your uh, taste is, try it out. It's good. Thanks for watching. Bye. In fact, 
I'm going to have another piece. Mmm. Good. I like it when I think outside the box. Mmm. Bye.